All right, today we're gonna to replace the mechanical seal in a two horsepower Scott pump. So first step is removing all the bolts from the head of the pump and then removing the pump head. Next, we're gonna flip the pump around and remove the four bolts holding the back of the pump together. Now removing the back of the pump can be kind of tricky, so use a rubber mallet to kind of bang on it to loosen it up a little bit and then finish it off with a flathead screwdriver and it should pop right off. Now we're just gonna remove the screws to expose the wiring harness and then push those wires through and then the back plate comes off. Then remove the nut and washer that holds the impeller on. Next, you're gonna flip it around, use a flathead screwdriver to hold the shaft steady while you twist off the impeller, like so. Voila. Now we're gonna remove the old mechanical seal. So we're gonna use a wrench in this case, kind of loosen it up a little bit and then follow it up with two flathead screwdrivers to kind of force it off. It can be kind of tricky. Now you can slide the face off and there's a little ceramic piece in the seal on the backside. You wanna remove that as well. And our final step in disassembly is removing these four bolts to expose a washer on the back end that we're gonna replace. Here's a quick shot of our rebuild kit. And now we're gonna clean everything up and start reassembling. So we're gonna lightly use some steel wool to clean off any deposits that have collected on the shaft or any other pieces of the pump that we've removed, especially pieces that are gonna come into contact with any of the seal material. So now everything's clean, we're gonna start reassembling the pump. So we're gonna start off by lubricating the shaft and then sliding the new black rubber washer on there. Now set your pump straight up because it's easier this way and then slide that gold plate on there and secure it with four bolts. All right, so our next step is we're gonna lubricate this piece of the mechanical seal, it has ceramic and rubber on it. So make sure anything rubber against metal gets lubricated really well, like we're doing. And then we're just gonna gently seat that in the little housing with the ceramic exposed. And now we're just gonna install this plate onto the pump. But first we're gonna lubricate the shaft really well so that the mechanical seal can slide over it without damaging it in any way. And boom. Now we're just gonna keep reassembling. So we're gonna lubricate the, uh, another part of the mechanical seal on the inside and around the shaft to make sure all that rubber is protected and then slide it on. And you'll see the spring goes right on top of this. Super easy, seats right on there. And the next step is installing the impeller. Remember, you may have to use a flathead screwdriver to hold the shaft steady so you can hand tighten the impeller on, like so. Then we're gonna secure the impeller by putting a washer and a nut on there and tightening it well. I don't know what the torque specs are on this, I couldn't find any, but just make sure it's tightened well. All right, now that the impeller is good to go, we're gonna slide this huge O-ring over the head of the pump and that's gonna provide the seal around the pump head and casing. All right, I'll flip it around so you can see a side view here um, and check impeller movement. Always make sure your impeller is installed correctly. If it has a wobble to it when it spins, then you've cross-threaded it and you'll need a new one. So we're gonna slide these wires through the back plate to continue the reassembly. And then we're gonna gently encourage the back plate to seat with a rubber mallet and then secure the back plate with the four bolts shown earlier. Then just tuck the wires back into the housing and the back plate is done. So the final step in the process is flipping the pump around and reinstalling the pump casing with the eight Allen head screws that we removed from step one. All right, a couple closing notes. Obviously, make sure you're really careful with that O-ring that goes around the head of the pump. Make sure it does not get crimped when you're reinstalling the casing. And of course, make sure you put on the nameplate that we took off in step one because that will save you a lot of headache later down the road when you're looking for mechanical seal numbers and things like that. And just like that, you rebuilt the pump. Congratulations.